Gonna need to pour a glass of wine for this one. Actually, no, let's keep it Australian. The old goon bag. Guys, Madoka Magica has just dropped a sequel trailer to a series that seemingly disappeared after 10 years ago. Needless to say, Madoka Magica fans, we are so back! Well, that's wrong, because saying Madoka Magica is back implies that Madoka Magica left my top three anime spot, which it still hasn't. Madoka Magica is a series I love to an extent I can't exactly articulate into words, but I'll try and I'll keep it really brief. If Main Abyss as a series did not exist, this would be my all time favorite franchise. But if I'm being 100% transparent with myself, it's been a really close race for a really long time. But look, that reflection's for another video that I've actually been working on for about a month now. Today, I just want to talk about the trailer, and specifically the movie sequel as a whole. Aniplex today presented a really cool uh, showcasing of a bunch of anime news today. And it was an uh, event I was anticipating for a long while, mostly because Madoka was said to have some new news. Madoka has actually marketed this long-anticipated sequel in really weird ways in the past. An example being, I think over five years ago, this trailer dropped for a potential concept movie, but shortly after, radio silence ensued in the community. Then on the 27th of April in 2021, this PV drops and the Madoka Magica fanbase went absolutely wild. But in true Madoka Magica fashion, after it drops, radio silence yet again. That is until today, because Madoka Magica fans rejoice because our weird lust for child suffering is soon to come to an end, likely in the earlier parts of uh, next year. But that's not even the best part, because when looking at the staff behind this project, I realized this is gonna be something that I don't think anyone can fully prepare themselves for. The brilliant Akiyuki Shinbo is back on the Madoka Magica project, and I couldn't be more thankful. He has such a unique storytelling style that is so expressive and surreal, like, nobody could pilot such an insane task like Madoka Magica like he could. However, some really cool news is somebody's also assisting him in the direction department this time. Yukihiro Miyamoto has also agreed to assist him in the direction department, clearly making an impression within Shaft to the director based on things like his work on Magia Record, March Comes In Like a Lion, and more importantly, a cinematic masterpiece we call the quintessential quintuplets. That is a masterclass in direction, and I'll fight you if you disagree. Gen Udabuchi is, once again, back in action from the writing department. The original Madoka Magica could not exist without this man's work, and, and being handpicked from Shimbo sensei himself and the brilliant film producer, Atsuhiro Iwakami, you can expect nothing but the absolute best of his abilities on full display in this movie. Once again, the fabulous Akiyume is back on the character designs, and despite having a bit more of a distinct and slick style in how the characters look compared to its predecessor, the essence of Madoka Magica is captured brilliantly in this trailer. They're also working with the fucking brilliant Junichiro Taniguchi. This man has done everything. He has as many animation gigs as I have insecurities. Fucking based. The department inside a shaft known as the Gekidan Inokari are also here to once again completely bewilder us with their absolutely gorgeous depictions of labyrinths. It wouldn't be Madoka Magica without their distinctive style that draws inspiration from like Russian animation. It really brings the series to a life in a way I have quite literally never seen done before in this medium. Obviously, Studio Shaft, which is subjectively my favourite animation studio to date, are the ones piloting this absolutely behemoth of a project. So not only would this movie look fucking amazing, but you can be happy in knowing that, well, the people who worked on it were treated really, really fairly. From my understanding, Shaft, uh, at least in a contemporary animation studio light, uh, one of the better renowned uh, companies regarding treating their employees well. Yuki Kajira is also back at it again on the music, so be expecting that hauntingly brilliant soundtrack we all grew so familiar with during the first season of the series. Slurp sound effect. What I'm getting at is that this team is full of names that we've known before, with also the addition of talents who have worked on this project previously. It's the same group of hardworking people who worked on this series we fell in love with moons ago. And they are, if not way more, passionate about the series to an extent we will never truly comprehend. This movie has been in the works for 10 years now. And while that doesn't mean it's been animated over 10 years or written over 10 years, that doesn't discredit how much time has been spent on this thing. This movie has undergone so many rewrites, so many revamps, so many reanimations, so many re-zeros, to a point in which the staff is actually happy about the product they're pushing out. This is a team of creators who really give a shit about the thing they're trying to create. And I just cannot wait to engage with what they've made and be bewildered all over again. 
From this one trailer alone, we got so much and so little at the same time, which is like perfect for Madoka Magica. I'm just, ah, oh, I'm so happy to be a Madoka Magica fan. Even if some of y'all are just completely intolerable. No, seriously, watching that Aniplex stream and seeing some of y'all just randomly shit on random shows because they weren't the Madoka Magica announcement you were waiting for was incredibly shitty. You suck, touch grass, you don't deserve anime. Rant over. Madoka Magica is a series that will forever mean so much to people, but it'll also always be a series that is incredibly hard to recommend. But despite that, I encourage you to keep pushing the good word because it is such an important anime that has had such a profound impact on the industry, especially in the West. Without Madoka Magica, a lot of stories genuinely wouldn't exist because it was an original work, an idea Shinbo Sensei had come up with, and together with a completely fresh, random new team, they created a series that challenges an entire genre. It challenges a bunch of traditions that were set in place for years. And they didn't know how it was going to turn out, but they still took that risk to create something incredible. And for art to kind of transcend that barrier, I think is, yeah, it's really fucking cool. Now, looking at the trailer itself, we know for a fact that this is a sequel film. We didn't even really need the end title card to confirm that to us. This film is absolutely the sequel to that gut-punching but absolutely brilliant cliffhanger we got in Rebellion 10 years ago. It appears that the world now in Homoda's hands, after forcibly removing Madoka from the role as the Law of Cycles, is spinning as intended. The world she created for the girl she loves most seems to be, however, drawing on its final moments. As if the curtain on this dream may perceive as reality is slowly but surely coming to an end. The future in which she anticipated in the last few minutes of the previous film is seemingly coming to fruition. From this trailer alone, I get the feeling Madoka is beginning to remember her original role as the Law of Cycles, and this film will likely be the final movie in the original Madoka Magica main storyline. It will likely be the clash between two ideals, two different views of love, that we have all been anticipating for over 10 years now. God, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to say goodbye to this franchise. This, this series means so much to me, man. But it, at the same time, makes me so happy that there actually is a resolution in sight. This will genuinely be one of the best anime films ever made, period. And I swear by that. I cannot stress enough how brilliant and talented the team working on this really are. But look, that passionate spiel can wait for another video. Um, in fact, that video is hopefully going to be dropping uh, sometime this month. It is my longest video yet, and um, please give it a watch when you can. It, uh, it really fucking slaps. And if you watch it and disagree, too late! Um, you've already- I've already got the ad revenue! I'll take your 0 0.0001 cents, dingus! Fucking based. So yeah, Madoka slaps. Uh, if God isn't real, then explain this trailer. Uh, it's so good to see my gals again, even if Sayaka looks a little roughed up. Actually, speaking of Sayaka, if Sayaka and Kyoka don't end up as a uh, couple by the end of this movie, I will- uh, I'll- I'll kill- I'll kill myself. Thanks for watching.